Hello, it's January 5th, Sunday, and um, time for poem number three. And I gave this one a lot of thought because um, this is by someone I really, really love to read and admire. And I was introduced to her, to Ella Wheeler Wilcox, by someone who gave me this little book with some of her poems. Um, and when I read them, I really thought if I had any talent for writing poetry whatsoever, I think this is how I could have possibly written poetry and expressed my feelings. And so this is something very personal. And I would like to read you her poem, Love's Impatience, The Common Lot. It's a common fate, a woman's lot, to waste on one the riches of her soul, who takes the wealth she gives him but cannot repay the interest and much less the whole. As I look up into your eyes and wait for some response to my fond gaze and touch, it seems to me there is no sadder fate than to be doomed to loving overmuch. Are you not kind? Ah, oh, yes, so very kind, so thoughtful of my comfort and so true. Yes, yes, dear heart, but I, not being blind, know that I am loved as I love you. One tender word, a longer kiss, will fill my soul with music and with song. And if you seem abstracted or I miss the heart tone from your voice, my words, my, my world goes wrong. And oftentimes you think me childish, weak. When at some thoughtless word the tears will start, you cannot understand how aught you speak has power to stir the depth of my poor heart. I cannot help it, dear, I wish I could or feign indifference when I now adore. For if I seem to love you less, you would, man-like, I have no doubt, love me the more. Tis a sad gift, that much applauded thing, a constant heart for fact doth daily prove, that constancy finds oft a cruel sting, with fickle natures win the deeper love. So, I think you will definitely hear more from her and um, sorry that I stumbled a bit, but I've decided to do these readings in one take. And even if I stumble over some words or get something wrong, please bear with me. Um, I just don't see any sense in pretending that I'm perfect or that I can read this perfectly. So thank you and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.